All right, so this is just a, a quick video for Josh that uh, asked for uh, a demonstration on how the hydraulics work. Um, I've got a front loader on mine, as you'll see on my last on my other videos. Um, it comes from one rear, one only one rear remote on it, and you'll see what I mean where where that goes to. It's it's a temporary permanent fix, so I need to get some fitted permanently for it. Uh, like I say, I only have one remote on mine, so it's all I've got to work with. So I'll show you what I'm working with. Uh, so I've got the one remote there, comes out in a 3 8 hydraulic pipe up to that valve block for mine up there. There's my, I don't know, somebody else on Facebook was asking about a PTO. There's my PTO there. is needed there's uh, the two stage but uh, two speed um pto drive uh, uh, gear selector i guess so yeah there's there's the um remote on the left hand side footwell you might you might have one of them now on man the spindle shaft inside was loose the nut had no well the nut the, the shaft had no threads left on it so that meant that it was just spinning. It wasn't giving me any any transfer whatsoever inside that block. So I tapped it, I re, I, 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 re, uh, I put a die down it, and now it's, uh, it's solid. So when I want to use the uh, rear remote, it's screwed all the way. What's that? Um, hold on. If you're looking from the top, it's screwed all the way to the left all the way back and that will re that will work the rear remote once once the remote's live once the remote is live we still have to use the lever for the three point at the back so what i have to do is i have to um down is disengaged i'll have no motion in any of my hydraulics. Up is, is engaged, now I've got flow back to my valve block. And you'll see, it'll lift up. All right, so that's, that's the hydraulics. Now that has to be, that has to be in the up position. Now that's on the left hand side, at right hand side, sorry, and that has to be on the up. All this is here is a stopper when you're wanting to do some grading. Uh, the switch, that, that, that knob there, I turned it out a few. I couldn't tell you exactly how much, but I just turned it out a few. Now, if I want to operate the three point at the back, I come back to the left hand side footwell, I turn this out. You can hear the engine start to idle because it's working now. I'll unscrew it a few turns, maybe it's one turn out. Now that means now, going back to our lever on the side here, when I press that down now, hold on, gotta disengage this. So that, so normally I leave it to, all the way to the left, it'll click in and I pull it out and to the right and that means it's it's able to um, be used now if i press this down now my three point will lower i don't know if you can catch that on video and again when i raise it up i raise that lever up on the right hand foot well there we go they're coming up that's engaged now you'll hear the engine start to um, drawn down a bit, so we'll just turn that lever there just a little bit forward. And when you've got an implement on the back, that's when it'll be in its position to be in an idle position. Goes all the way down there, that's down, all the way, well, that's just in the middle setting, shall we say. You can just hear it again, idling there. 
when, you, when I've got something on the back like a counterweight, I'll take it all the way to the top on the lever. This is all the way at the top, locked. We'll turn that knob again back to the left. Now when I let the pressure off now, on this lever, when I press it down, this will not go anywhere. It's completely locked. It will not go down, even with a weight or an implement on it. So that's what that's what you've got to work with. If there's any more that you want to see, hold on, let me turn this motor off. Lovely, nice and quiet. So yeah, if there's any more you want to see, then don't hesitate to ask a question again. Um, I'll even give you my personal number sometimes to, uh, uh, to talk on WhatsApp and uh, we'll be able to discuss further in detail what you need to know. Um, I've just turned this um, control valve back in. I can't remember what it's called. Turn that back in because that operates my front loader. And that's basically what I use the majority of the time, especially for moving the logs. Um, so yeah, recap again. Once sat in driver's position, if you want to use your implements at the back, you want that valve screwed to the right. You want to, you want to uns like so it's not fully back. Uh, I turned about a turn, a turn out, and that'll go to the right. Uh, I think it is. Yep, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to gauge when you're upside down. Um, then you'll be able to, if you haven't already got this one engaged, left, was it left? Uh, it's the hydraulics are off now. I think right's lock, left's unlock. And again, you have to use this control arm for all them. And this valve down here, I've just got it turned. Um, it'll screw it to the right a couple of times. Um, just to, I, I can't remember what it was for, but some of the people on here will tell you. Um, so yeah, that's it. Any more information? Again, please don't hesitate to ask, uh, and we'll we'll try and help you as much as we can. There's not a lot of uh, information on online about these, and it's nice to um, be able to rely on the community. So, say bye, Isaac. <laughs>